don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12 verse 2. Hey y'all, so I'm going to show you guys how I make my flyers today. Let's get straight into it. I'm using the app Fonto. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a plain image, y'all. So you can play around and search for the color that you want. Make sure it is the size 12, 20, 48 by 2048. I'm going to use this soft purple today because my brand colors are purple. So this is the color that I'm using. So I went ahead and added it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is add text. As you can see, this is all the text that comes with this app, y'all. But what I do, guys, is I go ahead and also add my own personal text. Well, it's not my own personal, but I have a own, my own collection of text that I downloaded from thefont.com. If you watch my how to make an intro video, you'll see a kind of an introduction on that as well. So all you have to do is go to your browser and click and um, type in the font dot com with the D.A. And then you can just go ahead and pick out the fonts that you want. So that's exactly what I did. I really like I believe it's called cursive fonts. So those are the fonts that I really um, download you can kind of like google popular fonts and really just browse through this app y'all like I really take my time and find the fonts that I feel like will work for me so this is a wonderful app that you can use if you're like a graphic designer um, or you just like text you know like really nice text so I'm gonna use this signature text here as an example um, so I'm going to go ahead and download it y'all. So as soon as you download it, you see that top arrow at the top right of your screen, you're going to click that and then you're going to click on the select button. Once you click on the select button, you'll select the font that you just downloaded. You'll see that check on it. Once you click it, then what you want to click is more. Once you go to more, you want to click copy to Fonto. Once you do that, it's going to take you directly to the Fonto app. And all you have to do is click install, install, install to all of the fonts that you just downloaded. Um, sometimes that one font has multiple fonts. That's why you see multiple installs. So that's the font that we're about to use, y'all. So I just want to show you guys an example of that. You're going to click my fonts. You're going to search for the font that you just downloaded. And now you're just going to enter whatever you um, are searching to do with your flyer. So this flyer is going to be a brand ambassador flyer that I need for my business. So I'm over here writing the word brand. And this is exactly what the England signature font looks like that I downloaded from the font app. So I kind of play around with it. Um, I don't want the title of this file is going to be brand ambassador and I don't want brand and ambassador to have the same font. Um, so I'm just kind of playing around to see which word I want to have this text. And you just really have to be creative y'all when it comes to making this kind of flyer. Cause you don't have like, for example, Canva, you have a lot of options, a lot of different ideas to choose from with this method you kind of have to be creative and know what you're looking for and play around with it to see all the features that come with this app so now guys i'm going to click style so that i can customize the brand text to what i want it to be guys i used a basic georgia font for this so what you're going to do after you click style is you're going to click on stroke guys and as you can see the stroke for this is going to be white um, I checked to see if I liked it. I did not like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse that. So the text, I'm going to change the text to white. And then I'm going to change the stroke to black. And then I love that way better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make the words in cap and capitalization letters because I think that looks way better. And then I'm just going to fix that you know center it out and really just blend it in with the ambassador so it can look really nice and flow okay the next thing that i'm going to do guys is i'm going to write brand ambassador needed and i'm going to see which font i would like that to be in that's going to be the first text that you'll see on this flyer after the heading, of course. 
Now, all I'm doing is figuring out if I want the alpha to be bright or if I want it to kind of fade in the background. So that's what the alpha does. It really fades it out if you want that feature. But what I'm going to do is change up the font. You'll see that I'll do that later. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just focus on the next text that I'm going to add on this flyer, which is going to be kind of like the description of this flyer. So I'm just going ahead and I'm entering that. So just continue to watch um, me enter it and yeah, and position it to where I want it to be. So here, guys, you'll see that I can change the sizing, guys. All you have to do is um, just tap on the text, and then it'll take you directly to the sizing portion, or you can go up and down to the size that will fit your flyer the best. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bottom um, website, my website. So I'm going to... Go ahead and type it. I like to type it out in spaces, as you can see here. I'm spacing it out because I really wanted to fill up fill up the whole entire bottom. You'll see exactly what I mean. So um, as you can see, I'm just going to position it to the bottom, size it, move it, make sure it's centered. And once it fills up the bottom exactly the way I like, guys, I'm going to click the bottom left, guys, and I'm going to add a item. The item that I'm adding is this clear, well, not clear. It's a box, right? It looks like a box. You're like, oh, where are you about to put this? So what I do, guys, is I click on the box and I ch and I change up the sizing. So the width, I'm going to enlarge the width, but the height, I'm going to make the height very small so that it can fit up the bottom exactly the way I like it. So as you can see, I'm making sure that the width fits exactly the size of the flyer, but the height, I'm making sure that it fits the height of my website text. And then another thing that I'm, I just did is I changed the alpha. You remember, as I spoke earlier, the alpha kind of blends out with the background. It doesn't make the, the coloring so harsh. It really just fades it out. So that's exactly what I did. And I also changed the color of it. Um, you can change the color the same way that I showed you in the beginning, how you change the color of your text. It's the same way you can change the color of your background item, which is your box. I chose the box. So I hope everything is making sense right now, y'all. It is sounding a lot of, it's, it's probably sounding a little difficult right now, guys. But I promise you, the more that you practice, the more that you um, really just play around with this app, you'll understand it and it'll become very easy to use just like any a new thing that you start guys it's going to be hard at first but the more that you do it and the more that you use it and the more that you get familiar with it it'll be very very easy and for me this is my easy method i use canvas sometimes but the other 75 percent of the time i really use this app so here y'all is where I told you guys I'm going to change the font of Brand Ambassador Needed. So what I did is I went to my fonts and I just really clicked around all the fonts that I have and I kind of tried to find what works for me. I ended up really liking this font. So I was like, let me just stick with this font, but I just want it to blend perfectly. Um, so I'm going to fast forward this part because I'm just playing around with the fonts. Here, you'll see that I did choose a different font, but in the end, I'm going to change it back to that font that I told y'all I chose. Yeah, I'm very indecisive, but <laughs> I really make it work, y'all. So now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to write the description of this um, flyer. So I'm writing down the like, requirements. Very simple, y'all. You really are filling up the flyer with the text that you need. And then for the font that i'm using for the descriptions i'm using a basic georgia font because i don't want it to be a hard to read mm -hmm. flyer you always want to make sure that your flyers aren't hard to read so georgia is a very basic type um font that you can read so that's what i'm using 
I ended up repositioning the please DM me part to the bottom of the screen. I felt like it looked better there. Now I'm going to start entering the requirements and I'm going to just fast forward this part. Now that I have entered most of the text guys, you're going to see how I just position it in a way that it, you know, fits perfectly. It's in the middle and right under requirements. I made sure that that text was smaller than the requirements text. And then now I'm going to add the second portion of this flyer, guys, which is going to be the benefits of being a brand ambassador. So um, I like to make sure that my texts match. So the requirements and benefits text is going to be the same size, while the description for both is going to be the si same size, if that makes sense. So I'm going to enter that information, the benefits information, and fast forward that as well, guys. Because I'm basically just typing. <laughs> so I'm basically done entering this text as well. Like I said, I'm making sure that the text match, y'all. And I wanted to make this fire very kind of basic, guys, and easy. So that you guys can see that I really do not do a lot. When it comes to my flyers, like, it's very easy. And you really don't need to do much. Just make sure that it's presentable, that it looks good, and that when people see the color and the kind of um, way that you make your flyers, they know that it's you. So now, guys, I'm going to add another item. The same way that I added the item in the bottom, I'm going to click the bottom left um, browser. I'm going to add an item. I added a box again. I made sure that I changed the width and the height of the box so that it could fit where I wanted it to fit. So what I did was um, position it behind the um, wording for, I believe, benefits. And with that, you can also change the colors. So that's what I'm doing. I wanted to change it to purple so that I can get a different shade of purple on the page. So you see, y'all, that's what it looks like. It's going to go right behind benefits. And I'm going to do the same thing with requirements. I believe I ended up doing the same thing with requirements. So again, guys, I'm just really using the eye that I have for this flyer to add things to it. Um, so with all the features this app offers, you can really explore and see what can really make your flyer pop and, you know, you know, just be the kind of flyer that you want it to be. Okay. So remember guys, I talked about the brand ambassadors needed text. I ended up changing it. So you'll see here how I changed it to the indigo font. So once I changed it to the indigo font, y'all, I stuck with it, y'all. <laughs> this is usually how I always am when it comes to these flowers. I always want to make sure it looks good. It's not too much on the eye. Get straight to the point. Um, but I am getting better and better, y'all. The more, like I said, that you use this, the more that you get better. I do want to eventually do the Photoshopping thing, y'all. But, you know, I never took classes on that. That's going to be a whole nother ball game to learn. But anyways, guys, we're talking about Fonto right now. So I'm kind of playing with the sizing. And again, this is just a free and simple way for new business owners who don't want to pay for flyers and kind of just want to use what they have. This is a great way for you to get your flyers done. Now I'm going to go to the bottom left again, guys. And I want to show you guys the different items that they have for you to use. Like I was mentioning earlier, there's just so many things that you can use if you want to add to your flyer. I'm very simple. I'm very basic. So um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add an image now, guys. So I'm going to fast forward. This is where you add any image that you want. I want to show you guys this example with my logo. Um, this is if you wanted to add your logo, you would add it in here, y'all. I don't want my logo on this flyer, guys, because it's going to look a bit weird. Um, so I'm just playing around with it so I can show you guys what I'm, you know, what I mean when it comes to adding your logo, if you wanted to do that. So that's that, y'all. If you wanted to add any image of your choice, we're going to use this feature again. This is where you would do so. So that's how you add an image. 
But now we're going to add another item, y'all. Remember I said that we're going to add another box to this flyer. So what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the width and the height and the sizing of the box so that it can match the one that we did initially previously, y'all, in the video. And um, it's pretty much repetitive, guys. So I'm going to fast forward this as well. And um, But this time, I think I'm going to place this one under the brand ambassadors needed portion. So that's pretty much that, guys, just to give the flyer some, you know, some, some like body, some, you know, this is just the vision that I have for the flyer and it's looking really good so far for me. So that's what I'm doing now, guys. Now that it is adjusted the way I like, guys, I'm going to add top, I'm going to click that bottom left. But in again, guys, and this time I'm going to add a picture of maybe like, you know, something from my brand so that people can know this is about hair or wigs or whatever it is. So fast forward this so y'all don't see my whole gallery, y'all. Oh, my God. So after scrolling through my millions of pictures, y'all, I finally found what I wanted to add. So I'm going to add a picture of my bundles, guys, to the picture, guys, and I'm just cropping it in to look good the way that i want it to look and then i'm going to add that to the flyer so keep watching to see that then now what i'm doing is i'm going to change the sizing guys and i'm also going to change the alpha guys so you're going to click style then alpha for that just so that it can blend in the back of the flyer really nicely i was positioning it around to see where i would like it and then i'm going to show you guys exactly where i ended up putting it in the end i decided to just place it right where it is y'all right there right there okay so now that i have that y'all i think this is the end of the flyer video i think that is it yeah y'all so that's pretty much everything that i've done for this flyer guys i'm probably just gonna do minor edits right now but that's it y'all it's very easy well it kind of looked complicated maybe to some but it's okay guys like i said the more that you practice the more that you'll get it the more that you probably end up being way better than me okay <laughs> so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um i'll see you guys next time on my next video please like comment and subscribe if you love this make sure to save your image y'all and that's it, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all are the best. You guys rock. I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Love y'all. Bye.